Okay, so I recently found this story on Forbes. This web browser is faster than Chrome and you've never heard of it. So let's switch into screen capture and have a look. So if we scroll down through a few of the bits in the story, so what's the fastest web browser in the world? It's definitely not Google Chrome, but it could well be Flow, a web browser that you've almost certainly never heard of. Flow is a rare beast, unlike the majority of web browsers that are available today, it's not based on the Chromium engine that powers Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge and Vivaldi, among others. It's a multi-threaded browser, explains Stephen Reader, the commercial director of Ekio the company behind Flow. If you've got a web page and there are four stories on that page, we will lay out those four stories entirely in parallel, whereas a traditional browser will display them sequentially. And there's some results here. Uh, so CraftyMind GUI Mark HTML4 test. The Chromium browser that ships as part of the Raspberry Pi OS scores 25 frames per second, while Flow scored 58. So some of them are, are really impressive results in here. And I thought I'd give it a try. Now there is, uh, as you can see, a link to a preview here. Uh, I've already downloaded it, but I think I'll delete it and download it again because it can change daily this. So let's go back to that, click on this to download. And you can see here, download the preview for Raspberry Pi. There's all sorts of things down here on this page and information. So let's click on that. And you can see here, download. Various different things you have to do on non-Pi 4 machines. Uh, I guess that means non-Pi 4 and Pi 400, but for the for the Pi 4 and the Pi 400, you don't really need to do anything extra. So it's downloaded. So let's uh, show that in the folder. And you can see, oh, it's the same version as I had today, but I'm going to say extract to, and I'm going to put it on the desktop. So that should put it in a folder on the desktop. Let's close down Chromium. There you go. So it's in here and all you have to do is double click it. So this is the browser. As I say, it's a preview. It hasn't, it hasn't properly been released or anything yet. Uh, and you can see you're, you're greeted with this. Now the bits that seem to work particularly well are things like these benchmarks. So if I click on that, uh, you can see that it's, it's really quite fast. And, and as it ramps it up, it really copes with it well. And I guess that part of this as well is that the browser doesn't really do anything else apart from a browser page at this stage. So, uh, but yeah, performance for the Pi is very, very good. But uh, as you can see, if I move to the top, if I move to the bottom, move to the left, move to the right, I can't see anything to do. So I've been playing around with shortcuts and settings and things like that. So I can use F5, uh, which will refresh. I can go to home and end. Uh, by using the home and end keys on my keyboard. Um, but the main two uh, that you're really going to need for this are basically holding Alt and then left goes back. There you go. Because there isn't a back button. Uh, and uh, so, there's, so there's very little you can do. But you can, obviously you can type in certain pages and the ones that are in here, so like the Guardian, if I click on that, uh, it does launch very quickly. Uh, and if I go back, so the going back is slower though. So I've, I've pressed Alt and back, but maybe it was still loading something up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say okay to that. I'll do Alt and back again, and see if that will go back. And it and it's see what's it doing now. I don't I don't know what it's doing now. So let's try Alt and back one more time. Okay. So I'm gonna oh no, it did do it that time. So let's try Wikipedia and see how that works. Again, loads up super quick. But are these pre-cached? Is this a because they're on that main page, is that the way they're doing it? So let's go back. Yeah, that was better. So the register, and again, loads up nice and quick. Alt and back. Duck, duck, go. So then we can do a normal search on this. So if we do a search for YouTube, I did find that YouTube didn't work particularly well. Uh, it tended to take a while to load up the actual page. Although, to be fair, that was all right. Yeah, this is slower than Chromium. So if I if I launch YouTube, it definitely loads quicker than this. So whether it's, it's still going, though. So faster than Chrome? Uh, well, let's, let's launch Chrome and uh, do YouTube. So go YouTube. Let's see what happens. And we've got that other browser running in the background. I'm on my 8 gig Pi, so it's not really an issue. Uh, so, oh, that's a bit slow on here as well. Well, actually, that's about the same. It, normally, YouTube doesn't take as long as that to load up. I'm running on an SSD as well. 
Yeah, to be fair, that was that was pretty similar. Right, let's close Chrome back down again. Oh, and a closed flow. So let's double click that. You can also um, open it in a terminal as well. It didn't give me the option then, but sometimes it gives you an option to open in terminal. So let's full screen that again. So Scientific American. Yeah, it uh, so it does. These definitely these pages that they're recommending do load really quick. Uh, and let's go Alt and back. And let's do some of these benchmarks, some more of these. So this is Tunnel. You can see the items are going up. 64 items, 128 items, 256, 512. Coping pretty well with that. So it does seem to be optimized for uh, the, maybe it's the OpenGL things that it's optimized more for. So let's go back. And do this balls one. So it does look very smooth with something like that. And again, this is all a work in progress. So, you know, the more the merrier, the more things we have like this, uh, definitely the better. So the blurry effect, let's go back. Certainly the back is working better now. Motion mark, so run benchmark. And let's let it run through all its tests and see what sort of benchmark it comes up with. One of the things annoying is that you can't copy and paste, uh, you know, a, a page that you're on. So because there is no bar at the top, uh, I would like to just copy this and paste it into Chromium and do some side-by-side -side tests. It looks like it's stopped. Has it crashed or is it working out its score? Oh, oh no, it's doing something else. Okay, so while it's doing this test, I'm going to leave it running and I'm just going to try the same thing on my M1 Mac and see what that does. So uh, motion mark 1.1. And let's see what sort of score we get on this. Just, just because this is the fastest computer I've got. Oh, it's whipping through that. Yeah, I'm gonna guess, even though I started a lot later, I'm gonna guess my Mac is gonna definitely overtake in this test. Yeah, it's overtaken it already in a big way on my Mac. Uh, and you can see that it's putting loads more things on the screen than the Pi is. Uh, it's not been overtaken. Uh, so what seems to happen is it goes through much more basic tests on the Pi and it goes for really intricate things on my Mac. I guess it detects something and it goes more detailed. So we have a final score on the Pi, uh, 1.22. Uh, I don't really know what all those tests are, but um, here you can see the results and uh, we'll wait until the Mac is finished and try that. Here we go, just doing the final test on the Mac. 1675.07. Uh, so there you go, there are all the tests on the Mac and you can see on the Pi. But obviously we're talking about completely different hardware here. So let's go back, Alt and back. Yeah, see the back, oh no it did work then. And the last one we've got there is particle acceleration, let's see how that runs. HTML5, is it doing something? Oh yeah it is. Look at this, using Mozilla Firefox. Interesting, 1920 by a thousand should be 1920 by 1080 that could be something to do with the dock that's here and you can see the fps is coming up so let's go back and just do a, a few of the pages that i would normally do so i often do hot uk deals so i guess you have to oh i suppose i can do it on DuckDuckGo. so hot uk deals and let's launch that page just because it got quite a lot of uh, components on it yeah that did seem to load up pretty quick there you go, so it seems to work pretty well. Uh, I mean, it's it's just nice to see more of these things around. Uh, obviously, you can see it's not it's not populated all of this for some reason, uh, and various different things on here are missing as well. So yes, it is, uh, it's pretty fast, and uh, on some elements it's gonna be beating Chrome, but it's early days and it's not really usable so much as a browser. So certain things definitely do feel snappier. Um, it is nice to see something like this being worked on on the Pi. Um, I've got something else that I think this will be particularly interesting for, but I'm gonna mention that in Pi News, just something separate that I think that browser could be useful for. Okay, so I've redone the test because I just had a hunch that that score wasn't gonna be what they were expecting it to be. And uh, I've done it on Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. The operating system I was using before was Twister OS, which is based on Raspberry Pi OS. Um, but uh, it somehow doesn't work the same. So if you have a look at this score, 
14.43 is obviously much better. So you're gonna get better performance in Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit. That's what the software is optimized for and that's what it obviously works best in. Uh, I've tried it on 64 bit Raspberry Pi OS and it doesn't even launch. So 32 bit would be the one to use. Uh, and if I go back and we try it again, maybe try the Guardian again and see how that works. So that launches nice and quick. Uh, let's see if it comes up with that same pop-up it came up with before. Yeah, so it comes up with that pop-up, which is obviously going to slow it down a bit. Anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.